Welcome back to News 12 this morning. If you're just now joining us, I'm excited to introduce Deborah Levine, a well established author, telling me about your latest work. Thank you so much for being here, Deborah. Oh, my pleasure, truly. So you have an amazing catalog of over 20 books, but also what, what exactly brought you here to Chattanooga? I came to Chattanooga to be the executive director of the Jewish Federation. I had uh, been uh, working with the Jewish Federation in Tulsa after the Oklahoma City bombing, trained by the FBI in dealing with neo-Nazis, and I decided I needed a little bit of beauty, and this yeah. was the most beautiful place I've ever been. It's beautiful. Scenic City, and it gets that name for a reason. But yeah. besides just moving here, what inspired you to write your latest stories? Because I know that they hold a lot of sentimental value to you. Yes. So the 20 books, <clears throat> most of them are how-to books about diversity and cross-cultural communication. And then after Tulsa, I decided to write memoirs yeah. and include my dad's letters from World War II. He was a U.S. military intelligence officer assigned to interrogate Nazi prisoners of war. And until Tulsa, he hadn't told me that he'd kept all his letters to my mother and hers to his, hidden away in a file cabinet in the back of his closet. And so now you're able to take those works and yes. bring them to the public. Did you um, tell me about, so you, yes. wrote a doc, you wrote and shot a documentary, I'm assuming, and then also how'd you go about writing this work? So I wrote the, boor, the books first, yeah. all right? The memoirs, The Liberator's Daughter, Yeah. right? And then um, I was taught how to write scripts by a wonderful gentleman here in town named Dylan Kussman. Many of you may know him. And the result was not just a TV script about my life, yeah. but a radio theater play about my dad with his letters. And um, it then became a documentary that was broadcast around the world. That is amazing. And I know that it's going to be such a powerful story for obviously history lovers and people who really acknowledge that, but yes. then also the people that don't know the extremities of what happened in World War II yeah. and be able to show a local perspective from your father and your mother in those exchange letters is just so special. What are you really hoping that people are going to take from this documentary and your latest works? From the documentary, I want them to understand what actually happened mm -hmm. and how it was possible to happen in a country like Germany that was really quite advanced yeah. scientifically, literally, and uh, but people were silent about what happened. Yeah. yeah, and so I want them to see this, and I want them to 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 hear my father's voice, which Dylan Christman plays, and I am so grateful for everyone to, who put it together, uh, including my cousin Michael Levine, who did was a Hollywood composer and did the music for it, oh to make it really pull together and, and, um, and have an impact on young people. Uh, and, and that's why I also wrote a teaching guide for yeah. teachers to use when they show this documentary. And it's just been a wonderful experience, but it's not been an easy one. Yeah. It's been very emotional. Yeah. And throughout this time of the 20 books, right, uh, I've had many health issues. Yeah. And I'm sure part of it is because of what I do so much. Yeah. And part of it was on a Federation uh, trip to Uzbekistan where I got deadly, deathly ill. Oh. But that encouraged me to write even more. And this new book that's just come out talks about all of this, including how to persevere no matter what. Whatever your background is, whatever your health is, yeah. you do not stop. And that's resilience. Thank you so much for sharing that powerful message to all of us this morning, Deborah. For the latest information, where can people visit you online or where to purchase your books? It is up on Amazon. It is also going to be at Barnes & Noble. I do a book signing on September 29th. And I look forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. For the latest information, we'll be posting more information on our website at WDEF.com. You can also search Deborah Levine online for the latest information. We'll be right back with News 12 this morning. Thanks for joining us.